Hi friends, another Webflow app review, and this one is on Clip Path Bay by WebBay, uh, also known as Keegan. All right, so as you can see here, Clip Path Bay uh, lets you add the CSS of Clip Path into any image or element inside of Webflow. So Webflow doesn't have this natively, but this makes it happen. So imagine that this is your uh, image. You can just make it a different shape however you need to, rather than going into Figma and then doing the masking in there and then exporting out as a PNG or SVG and then placing it back into Webflow. No, you're using CSS, which is more performant than uh, straight up images for different shapes all the time. And also you can make this happen on dynamic uh, elements that are coming from the Webflow collections, right? So it has so many pre-made shapes and some that you've probably seen around the internet a lot, like a chevron pointing to the right, something like this. Um, you can do close, like, and you can play around with the points. And as you can see, the clip path code is updating in real time. So you can do whatever you want, right? And so let's go ahead and go to, let's do uh, this bevel right here. And then we have the image selected. We're going to press clip it and there you go. And it's already, yeah, it's already working on this, which is amazing, all right? Now, uh, if I undo this, I can go ahead and try a different, um, element or sorry, a uh, different shape. So I'm going to go with this. And if you notice on the Cybertruck website, it's usually, it's always doing this little, little triangle in the bottom, right? So instead of again, doing it inside of Figma and then exporting it, no, you can just do it like this. Clip path will help it out. And there you go. You got that Cybertruck, uh, uh, cut out edge you know, on the bottom right that they're doing across the landing page. So there you go. Another thing that I've learned uh, on, on this is you can actually make this work on background video. So if I go here, you have this background video, I'm gonna press play, it's the Cybertruck. I can add a SVG, or sorry, a clip path onto that. So if I do the same thing, I'm gonna do the, let's go to the Pentagon, there we go and then do that same thing. Oops, sorry, right there and right there. Something like that, clip it. And now it's working on the background video as well. Really, really cool. And um, one thing I've also learned is for things like Unsplash, so this is something that maybe, uh, Keegan, if you're watching, this is something you might want to look at because it's Unsplash is actually a custom element. You cannot apply uh, this to a custom element. So let's just do a, a, let me pull in a custom SVG and do a wave. So something like this and clip it and nothing happens. An SVG gets added and I think that's what uh, Clip Path Bay does but um, nothing happens to this. So it works on images, background videos, but it will not work on Unsplash because it is a custom element. But yeah, it's completely free. Thank you to Keegan. Um, and I think this is gonna be a very, very useful tool that I will be using for a lot of my client projects. If you're gonna use it, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and vote for this app over at wfapps.com and I'll see you in the next review. See ya.